Hey, welcome back. Yeah, I'm Inviso Guy. I'm doing that thing where I tell you my name. Let's go fucking upgrade these curios. Red, I'll come back for you, I promise. Actually, whatever. Let's go talk to Red. Ah, oh, Red is such a good dude. My hot... My, I forget what my voice for this guy was. My heart grows cold. I have located new curios. But have you found any red skulls? Barrier lantern. I have indeed. Ah, this curio is well guarded. Well, we've read that a million times before. Don't need any of that. All right. Uh, welcome to the Mega Man Leaf Shield. Straight up. I don't know. I didn't actually use this a ton in either any of my playthroughs. So maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll give it a go. It seems pretty fucking. Oh, God, it's something that like makes me nervous jumping towards enemies. I don't. It's one of those mechanics where you don't necessarily trust it. You know. Excellent. Away we go. All right, so that carry is no me a bobble. Use it wisely. I just, I also noticed um when I was editing these, every single time you pay him, he literally throws the amount of skulls that you paid him in um into the door. Alas, I am still hunting hunting for new curios to trade. I suppose you have important work to do, but please don't forget us. Wait, I can't. I thought I could sell him all the skulls. At a certain point in the campaign, uh, he can just sell you the- you can just sell him the skulls. Alright, let's talk to, uh, Tinker Knight, see what his deal is. Tools of war can force a kind of peace, but I think our rules should be fair and just. Number of fools would break things, uh, and not rush to fix them. I actually appreciate Tinker Knight. He's, like, one of the more, um... He's, like, one of the more, uh, logically thinking. Well, of course, given his character trait. Um, he's one of the more logically thinking, uh, of the Order of No Quarter. A lot of what he says makes sense. Gold, pay the up, powerful we make. Alright, let's upgrade fucking everything. Everything we can. Definitely this. Because that's a good thing. Uh, we're gonna upgrade this. Because it's a good thing. Um... Upgrade this, because it can get us gold. I can probably afford to upgrade everything. I have a lot of fucking gold I'm just sitting on. Yeah, let's, um, upgrade that. If there's one thing I'm not going to upgrade, it might be the sniper, because honestly, sniper is something that I very, very rarely used, um, in any of my playthroughs. Um, yeah, I'm going to upgrade the lantern. Alright, cool. We're good to go. We have almost all of our curios, and we can't afford to do another one. Hey, treasure chest dog. No, I don't want to be cool. I want to make sure that nobody sees that I'm the coolest. Aw, oh, good dog. I think I might make a product based on that treasure chest dog. Uh, Yacht Club, let me know if that's bad. Get back to me. Well then, Puppet, what will you do next? Alright. Time for my fucking favorite stage in the game every time. The flying machine. Oh boy. Blight the Earth. Oh god, the remix. I already fucking love this track so much. Uh, it- I know- I know I keep saying this, but... Um... The 3D for the 3DS version of this game, if you have a 3DS and you don't own Spectre Knight Treasure Trove, I can't recommend it enough because I definitely already talked about this. I remember commenting on it when I was playing Mole Knight Stage, but it's hard to explain the depth of field that the 3D version gives you that, like, this version can't really replicate. Um, and, it, and it honestly, I think it's my preferred version, to be completely honest. I think it looks fucking gorgeous. Um, but look at this fucking- oh my god! The colors in this fucking version of the game are just so fucking- or in this version of this level are just- Oh boy, they are great. Oh, there we go. There's a really tough one to find. Hmm. da na na Alright, don't sing along the songs, music, because that'll fuck you later on. Oh boy, wait. Time for one of my favorite enemies. Oh no. Um, one of my favorite enemies of the game. I love this guy. I've drawn a sketch of this guy. I can include it. I plan on making, like, stickers of every single enemy in Shovel Knight. Um, that might take a really long time, but it's something that I want to do because I think all of the enemies have really strong designs, and I'd like to, um... That was... that was so fucking stupid! That was really dumb. Um... But yeah, I want to make stickers of all of, uh, the... All of the enemies that I can. I might not make every enemy because, uh, maybe some of them aren't as noteworthy. But I'll make all of the ones that I deem noteworthy. And I- and I think, um... Putting them in my own style feels fun. Um... I need to go back to that file that I'm working on where... 
I am making the enemies, uh, and I need to change them up a bit more because at current stance, it's like they're very much just their sprite stance, and that feels very unoriginal. Some of them are different, but um, a lot of them just feel bland. Also, this boss fight sucks for Spectre Knight because this thing just runs into you, and it's frustrating. You take a bunch of damage, and it sucks. It's a poopy butt suck. Ew. That's really gross. Oh god, that wasn't even funny to me. Poopy butt suck. <gasps> okay, so I hate these guys, but I drew- I- in my Shovel Knight, um, enemies, like, uh, progress list, I drew them, and I really like how I drew them, and so, it was like- I was in- I was in call with some of my friends on Discord, um, while I was drawing them, and I was like, god damn it, and they were like, what? I was just like, I fucking drew the hover meanies, and I actually really like them now. Um, anyway. Oh, this fucking... I, I freaked out a lot when I got to this screen at first, because you're walking through and you're like, okay, how do I deal with these cannonballs? And then you slice them, and it's like, <gasps> that's the best! You can just slice can It's like, it's one of those things where exactly what I wanted to happen happened, um, and you just slice through the cannonball and you're like, alright, that's pretty cool, that's very anime. Ska, ska, ska. Um, but yeah. Um, if you want to check out more of my art endeavors, follow me on. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more proactive with my art because I don't know. I feel less ashamed of it. Okay, I don't. All right, time to fast forward. Oh, alright, we're just gonna take the loss on that one bag of gold. It's not worth dying again and fast forwarding through more bullshit for. Oh, God! Thank you, Yacht Club Games, for <laughs> making Spectre Knight incredibly anime. God. He is so fucking anime, it's nuts. Oh, man, I love how all of the curi or all of the red skulls in this level are hidden in plain sight because of the palette of the background of the ship. Alright, let's fucking. You know what's the worst is when you're in an auto scroll segment and you um you get ahead of the auto scroll and then that actually causes more problems than if you were far behind it. Hate that stuff. Now let's get another red skull. Oh, I might add something to the end of this playthrough, like post finishing it, because there's an interesting post game content if you collect all the skulls. I won't say anything about it now, but um. What I'll, I'll honestly probably end up adding it to my, uh, my eventual no commentary, uh, Spectre of Torment New Game Plus run, uh, because I think that's where it would be the most appropriate, instead of tacking it on to, um... Hmm... Instead of tacking it on to the end of this playthrough. Uh, but yeah. Stay tuned for that, or don't. Fuck it. Don't fuck it. Oh boy, I almost fucked that up real good. Wait, why are there on fire blobs in this fucking level? Because, like, you kind of learn from. Oh no! Ugh, what a fucking waste! Um, you kind of learn from Mole Knight's level how slimes get the, the production of slimes um, and where they come from. So why would there be, in something that presumably runs on helium, why would there be fire slimes? That seems like really poor decision making. Hey, how about you fuck off? I, all right, I still hate those enemies in game, but the drawing that I did of them makes me like them slightly more than 0%, which was what it was before. I fucking hate hover meanies, but I drew them kind of cute, so. Ugh. Yacht Club, if you're listening, let me know if you're gonna order a takedown on sticker production if I make every single enemy into a sticker. I would appreciate the correspondence on that. Man! Yacht Club uh, streamed some Mega Man because it's Mega May. Um, and boy howdy, were they drinking? And I was asking like some pretty... some questions that I always wanted answers to. Um, I don't remember specifically what, but they were spilling some deets on uh, Shovel Knight, like, behind the scenes. And it was super fun and cool. Uh, Yacht Club, you seem like super cool guys. Uh, it would be cool to work with you one day. We'll see. Um, that's probably not gonna happen. 
Maybe if I fucking get my shit together and improve at art. Ugh. Who does art, though? Art is hard. Art is... Ugh. Heart. Oh, alright. Hooray! Also a really cool boss remix. Let's get to it. Yo, what up? Oh ho ho, such tattered robes. Are you here to join the galley crew then, Magnificent? On the contrary, you shall join us. An alliance of elite knights will surely complement your carefree crew. As the captain of the Enchantress's flagship, your skies will belong to your rivals no more. Rivals me? Never. I'll cast you overboard. Hope that your blade is better than your sense of style. On guard! Fuck you, my sense of style is flawless. I look the coolest. I really do like that every single boss, uh, starts out, like, um, the same as it does in Shovel Knight. Oh god, look at this fucking boss fight. So, you're literally falling through the fucking skies, and it feels really cool. It's hard to highlight when you're not playing it, but, like, you're very floaty in this segment. Um, I actually remember this segment giving me a lot of trouble, um, because, uh, I fell below the screen, and I wasn't, like, proactive in getting above it. Oh, fuck you, sir. Um... Like, I, where am I? Where am I? Oh my god. That was so bizarre. Stop. God, this is such an appropriate arena for, um, Propeller Knight. God, what a- God! It's just, your art improves so much, Yacht Club. Oh boy, am I gonna die. Yep, time to die. Yep. Yep, I was so close. I wasn't proactive enough. Oh, proactive. Do you have acne? Get proactive. Or don't. I don't fucking... Fuck. I don't care. Alright. Time to cheese a boss fight out. But yeah, I really like how every boss fight starts out the same, so like... And since you can choose the boss fight in any order, it's very Mega Man-esque. Um, in that way. And, um... Since you can choose the boss fight in any order, it makes sense that every single boss fight would have that potential surprise of like, Oh fuck, they changed the boss fights! Um, because, like, that was a really good surprise. I don't remember which boss I fought first. It must have been King Knight. And, like, he slams the ground, and I was like, Oh, fuck! The boss fights are different! Uh -huh. Hooray! We did it! We're the best Spectre Knight that there ever were was. Ever was were. Were, 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 were. Oh, boy. This might be a short episode. Holy hell. All right. Actually, we're gonna do something else. Oh, can I talk to Red and tell him about his skull? Oh! This is my favorite fucking curio in the game, and you'll see why in a second. Ah, this curio's well got it. I can lead you, blah, 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 blah. This curio is the fucking best. This area's curse as well, tread carefully. Um, Judgment Rush. Oh, it's so cool! You can just face the wall. So, there's an interesting thing in that the curios that you get towards the end of the game, like, they very much designed it in a way to make it feel like you're becoming the Spectre Knight boss that you end up facing. So that's one, because that's, like, straight up an attack move that the boss uh, version of Spectre Knight has. And also, uh, this thing. This, which you probably can't actually see anymore because I upgraded it so that, um, I'm invincible when you fly. And so it probably flashes in a way that you can't actually see it. Oh, you have 15 red skulls. I'll pay you 500 gold for each of them. Please, quickly. <gasps> oh, whoa. How I long to become lost in her empty gaze. I cannot stand to see another red skull. Not one more. Oh, how her delicate mandibles clattered with laughter. Her beautiful brow ridge. So arch. Perfect. Um, eye sockets. <gasps> Wait a tick. I I can't believe it. It, It's her. We found her. At last. <gasps> red. <gasps> he bows. What a gentleman. Red? Red, my love. Is it really you? Yes, I've been searching an eternity, my sweet Scarlet. I'll never let you go again. My heart soars with joy. This calls for a celebration. Join us in the ballroom, Spectre Knight. And he's just like, okay. Oh, this is so nice. Now that we're reunited, the ceremony can finally begin. Maestro, please. Oh, I love this bit. I also love that this segment is highlighted by the piles of red skulls in the background. And as as grim as it seems, that's kind of like, I don't know, that's romantic to me because it shows how dedicated he has been to trying to find his lost love. Um, God, we'll just sit here and enjoy this.
Oh boy. Oh, look at those dancy skeletons. They love it. Yay! Aww. You have our deepest thanks, Spectre Knight. I hope you enjoyed the show. How joyous! Let's head back, shall we? Aww. I helped Red. Red is a good friend. I'll find a way to repay you. Until then, please bring me more Red Skulls. Perhaps I could collect them all. Find a way? Yeah, okay. God, Red is such a good character. I, I love him. He's a good dude. All right, let's go talk to... That one guy? Man, look at how full up this bar is, though. It's full attendees right here. Oh, fuck you, Hover Meanie. I hate you so much. Fuck you. But I love this guy. Hey, you're pretty cool. I'll buy you a drink. Um... Oh, fuck off, Amiibo Fairy. Man, the Amiibo Fairy is, like, a completely inconsequential character that has way more design than she should. Um, oh, with such, a uh, such the juice selection here, uh, we'll be right at home among the commoners, how quaint. Uh, must I send for my private reserve? I don't know, should you? Um, I've talked to, uh, Gaul. Ah, Spectre, I'm working on my technique for a killer new move. Brace yourself for the kiss of death. Uh, what, wait, just to, yeah, I've done this before. My bad, guys. Which version of it will it be, though? Uh, it didn't work, and then I died. You fucking murdered me. I'll be honest, it's kind of hard to keep straight what's happened in what playthrough. Yes, it worked! Sorry about that, Spectre. I'll find a hero to use it on next time. Alright, thanks for the gold. My life is super worth 400 gold. Oh! Something that I want to point out. Um, maybe... Oh, you know what? Let's upgrade the rest of our stuff. Wait, what's the upgrade? Uh, grants invincibility and activates rush faster. Yeah! God, Judgment Rush is so fucking cool to me. Judgment Rush is something that is, like, required. Uh, strong, mighty. You be strong like we be legion. Thanks. Um. Rise, where have you gone off to now? <gasps> Donovan! This has gone too far! Your meddling across the valley has impeded my search for long enough. You cannot stop the Enchantress, but as her eighth knight, you could f roam the valley as you wish, even find the one you seek. Never! I would sooner die than join the Enchantress. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho! That can certainly be arranged. Shield Knight, at last! I've found you! Come, let's leave this place, I'll bring you to safety! Shield Knight? Pledge your, loyal to me, uh, pledge your loyalty to me, Black Knight, as my final knight. W what's happened to you? Come to your senses at once. Sorry for my bad voice acting. Very well then, Spectre Knight, dispose of this intruder. Donovan, this is madness. We have to find a way to reach Shield Knight. It was Shield Knight all along. She took everything from me. The amulet. Luan, she stole my very life away. This ends tonight. No, I must save her. I have to find her before it's too late. Man. That's a fucking raw deal for Spectre Knight. Oh, look, it's it's the Acolyte. What up? Dark Acolyte. Spectre Knight, aside for sore eyes, I, have I might have starved to death in that cell. The Enchantress is treacherous, villainous, irredeemable. Acolyte, indeed. She has gone mad with power and must be defeated. Can you help me reach her? Yes, a path from the dungeon to her lair now lies open to us. I can operate the mirror too, just like old times, eh? We haven't a moment to lose. Alright, so on to the fin finale. Uh, alright. Well, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Um, and in the next episode, we will begin our journey to seek revenge on the dreaded Enchantress. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!